Uh, energy and enthusiasm, the way that you ask, the way that you sound when you're making an ask is at critically important. Because you can make a perfectly worded ask, but if you're just reading it off a page and you sound like really bored, uh, then the impression that you're going to give to the volunteer is, hey, come volunteer for this. It's really boring. Um, you know, but if you sound really excited and you sound energetic and you sound happy, then the, you know, the, the subtext you're giving them, the, un the unsaid kind of message is, hey, this is a lot of fun. Like, we're having a blast. You really should come join us. This is a lot of fun to volunteer for this. So, you know, the overall way, you know, the, the feeling that you have when you ask, if you're in a really bad or depressed mood, you probably don't want to recruit volunteers. Right? You want to have somebody who's really peppy and really full of energy. That's, that's the person you want to be the voice out there asking volunteers to come in. Um, and we'll get into, you know, Sue will probably talk a bit about phone banks later. One of the key things if you're on the phone, smile. Right? Anytime you're on the phone, you've got to be have a, just a great big smile on your face, even if you have to force it, uh, because it, they can hear you smile on the other end of the phone. They absolutely can hear you smile. And the way that you sound, the way you talk when you're smiling versus the way that you talk when you're scowling are very, very different. Very, very different. And people pick up on that uh, when you're talking to them on the phone, especially. 